Are you tired of wandering around Canther and Tyria in the dark on your skiff? Well, Black Lines Trading Company may have the answer for you, so why don't you just stay tuned for the answer to all your problems. Now we have the new floating lantern skiff design from Black Lines and your troubles are over. Yes, this is it. Uh, this is the new floating lantern skiff design. No more fishing in the dark. You can come in here in the darkest little grottos, chasing those elusive fish all up through Canter and Tyria and everywhere. And look at this. Look at this well-lit deck. This is a really beautiful ship. It also has state-of-the-art mood lighting uh, that you can choose your color of your light lights. So you can pick the lighting that suits your mood or situation. Uh, they're, they're endless choices. The skiff also features the latest in self-driving technology. You just have to sit there and relax and just think about where you want to go. No rudders to worry about anymore. As you can see, it's quite narrow. It's a nice narrow design to go through all these narrow waterways. The lighting allows you to have good visibility on deck when you're fishing and working there so when you pull your fishing rod out in these dark little areas you can see where you're going and see where you're stepping around the lanterns on the boat also offer great visibility for when you're uh, navigating those busy waterways uh, in through canther so that you know other people can see you where you are so you don't get run into by other boats and clip through which is always a little bit disturbing really getting your boat clipped through by other boats Handley performance is much the same for uh, any skiff uh, on the market. Uh, even with the uh, the top loading of the skiff, it doesn't affect uh, badly affect handling. Uh, you can still flit around the uh, the waterways of uh, of New Canaan City without without any extra difficulties. Uh, the bridges are a bit low, but it will clip through them quite lovely, no problem at all. Uh, the the overall height is. Uh, is not a problem and you know at least it doesn't melt like uh, some skiffs are prone to do i'm sure that is yeah it's definitely getting smaller that guy is not going to last long out there in those tropical waters with the with an iceberg as you can see no uh, no input is required from the uh, driver or any tool or anything like that you can just just sit there and just think where you want to go relax in comfort Usual handling precautions necessary. Ah. Yeah. Now, of course, there are a few downsides of the uh, of the skiff. Uh, visibility while fishing can be a little bit restrictive. Uh, as you can see, there are some issues. If we can find a fishing hole here somewhere, if we stop there, you know looking around trying to find ways around the um, the uh, cluttered um, lighting in the normal world it'd be good if you could maybe remove the lights when you're in open waters like this they certainly pave themselves in the darker areas and also the decks are a little bit cluttered I, I found that the um, there is probably having the, all the spare lanterns uh, does clutter the deck a little bit but you know it does come with plenty of spares if you have any lighting trouble there is a, a disturbing amount of fireworks and explosive material all over the deck I have been assured it is safe uh, because the lamps use a jade tech to um, they don't use an open flame so I have been assured that it is perfectly safe so um, we shall see if it explodes and in fiery hell on the water somewhere There'll be a further review on that, but it's, so far it has not done that. Fishing generally is unrestricted. It, you, you know there are a few wires you've got to you've got to avoid and be careful with, but uh, generally fishing with it is uh, is problem free. It certainly the lighting helps when you're in those dark areas. Not so much of an advantage out here in the uh, in the wide areas, although because you you are highly visible, you can sit out here in this highly visible vessel. And no one's going to run into you. Uh, they're going to see you. It also is a, a, an aid to other fishermen out there that they can see you fishing there and they can say, oh, there's a hole over there and they come straight to you. Let's face it, we're a friendly community out here. We want to help each other. We want to, you know, everyone to catch fish. There's plenty of fish there. Uh, there's no um, no sign of any depletion of fish stocks. So, you know, we're happy to share. 
So there you have it, the uh, floating lantern skiff, new from Black Lives Trading Company. It's a it's a heck of an investment. Quite a bit of gold to convert on the um, on the market there to um, to get the gems for this. It's not for everybody. It, it may be considered slightly gaudy for some, but it's utilitarian. It's it's a utility thing. If you've been out fishing in the dark coves, then this is for you. If you only fish out in uh, tropical waters, like if you just out there to catch as many fish as possible in the, in the desert there somewhere or at the desert oasis then you know this is not necessary and you might find something more to your taste but if you're going to go in those dark caves you're chasing those elusive fish those last few fish in in the caves of the world then then this is for you you, you should get it so you, sh you should just buy it